I watched the interview online on Christmas Day just as well. It's basically TV. It takes very funny, very offensive, cheap shots and pot shots at North Korea, but it's really uh, a parody of U.S. attitudes. Their narrowness, uh, narcissism, ignorance, a view of the outside world that amounts to, but enough about us. Uh, let's talk about you. What do you think of us? Apparently most Americans, including reviewers, don't get the self-parody that the views of North Korea are really views of how Americans see North Korea, so the movie gets to have it both ways. What surpasses the film's own modest ambitions uh, is the treatment of its release as a heroic triumph for free speech and the First Amendment over North Korean bullying of the U.S. That's a tour de force, uh, well beyond the uh, large comedic skills of Seth Rogen and James Franco though it relies on those same national talents for self-delusion and self-importance that their film explores. We still don't even know uh, whether North Korea was really behind the Sony hack or if the terror threats were at all real. That's worthy of a film all its own. The release. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.